If you would like to know about some style guidelines for midlife women, then I'm sure you'll really enjoy this video. I am a guinea pig too. I'm not an expert by any means, but the video I put out last week all about um, 27 very stylish midlife women for fashion inspiration, well, it proved to be very popular. So I think I've touched a nerve. I think maybe there are lots of other people like me in midlife who are really trying to find their way with what to wear. <laughs> so I thought I'd put together a series and um, depending on how successful it is as to how many parts I do. But this one is going to be all about the rule of thirds and because I've done lots of photography in the past I know a lot about this so I hope you enjoy the video. In photography it's very easy to assume that when you're taking a photograph which features a visible line like a horizon in the image on the right that you should put that horizon in the center or the middle of the image. However, this can make your photo look dull and uninteresting. One way to improve your photos and to make them more compelling is to use the rule of thirds. The rule of thirds is one of the most important composition guidelines for framing an image when you're taking a photograph. It simply means dividing an image into thirds and then composing your image so that any visible line is on one of those lines. So the first option is you've got one third at the top of the image and two thirds at the bottom. And this makes for a more interesting photograph. So if we compare it to when you put an outfit together, it's useful to use the rule of thirds as a guideline and to have one third at the top and then two thirds at the bottom. So for example, a visible line could be where your top meets a pair of trousers or a long skirt, or it could be where you place a belt, or it could be a layer that you have that you're wearing, say for example, a cardigan or a jacket. Another way of using the rule of thirds in photography is to, when you divide the image up into thirds, place the horizon on the two thirds line as shown in the photograph here on the right. And likewise, when you're putting an outfit together, you could use the rule of thirds, the second option, by wearing, for example, a dress and then having maybe black tights and black boots on the bottom or a dress and um, bare legs. And um, just think about where your third line is. Is it at the top of your body or is it towards your knees? So now we know about the rule of thirds, I'm going to show you some examples of stylish midlife women who are beautifully illustrating this rule. We'll start off with the first option, which is a third at the top and then two thirds at the bottom. It was quite easy to find examples of this to show you because it's a very common way that people dress with having one section at the top and then a larger section at the bottom. So let's start off with Trini. And Trini is wearing with her colleague um, a white t-shirt and blue trousers. And you can see the way that you've got one third at the top and two thirds at the bottom. Then she is wearing a shirt which she's tucked in. This is a very popular thing to do, which is tucking in the front of your shirt or your, any sort of top you're wearing to give you a better proportion visually at the top. So that's what she's done here. And then you've got the jeans, which is two thirds. This next one is Louise Rowe and a very similar idea. She's got a top, which is one third, and then her trousers and her sandals make up the two thirds. Here Louise is wearing a tank with a blouse and then trousers. And even though she's got a really long coat on, you can still see the third and two thirds split. Here Erica Davies is wearing a dress and instead of a change in colour to create a visible line, she's simply got a, a tie sort of belt um, around her waist. So that is what draws your eye and your attention. And here again with Erica, this time the third is simply her cardigan that she's wearing and then the two thirds is the rest of the dress. 
So option two is to have two thirds at the top and a third at the bottom. It was much more difficult finding examples of this. So um, we're going to first of all start with Fran Bacon and she's got a dress here which takes up two thirds and then her legs take up one third. Then we've got Cat Farmer and she's wearing a dress that takes up two thirds and then very cleverly she's made sure that her tights and her boots are the same colour so that creates more length as well. And then we've got Fern Cotton with a dress which takes up two thirds and then her legs. Next we've got Coral and she's got a long coat on which takes up the two thirds and then the boots take up the one third. We've got Fran again here and I just want to show she's wearing a dress with boots and again using the same idea as Kat so having black tights with her black boots and it all works really well proportion wise even with the long coat she's wearing. And then we've got Sara and she's wearing a dress and again she's using the black tights and black shoes trick. So following the rule of thirds guideline this morning, I put on this black cashmere jumper and I paired it with these straight leg jeans. I'll link to both or similar below. Um, and if you want to, you could just do a tuck at the front of the jumper um, just to elongate your legs a little bit more, but it's entirely up to you. If you're very conscious about your tummy, you might want to um, leave it untucked. So yeah, the rule of thirds, one third, two thirds. And now in the morning when I'm getting ready, I'm really much more aware of not cutting my body in half, but allowing one third and two thirds. So I hope you found this video useful. It's been so interesting actually compiling it and um, I've learned lots too. Um, I'm very, very inspired. Please do comment below if there are any other stylish midlife women on Instagram you recommend that we all follow or they're on YouTube. Um, or even on TikTok, do let me know. Now, if you've not already seen my video about 27 stylish midlife women to follow on Instagram for fashion inspiration, I'll put a link on the screen now. And don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. It really helps my channel. Thank you so much.